Holocaust survivor, Elie Wiesel returns to Auschwitz to meet me and walk these hallowed grounds. When here, you will notice the professor speaks very softly, allowing the silence to have its space. And as we walk, the memories seem to come in waves as he recalls that first night in 1944 at Auschwitz. What a place. Yeah, what a place, what a place. What is it even coming back now? Difficult? Each time I come, I, I try not to speak for, for, for a day or two or three. And just to go back and find the silence that was in me then. And I say to myself, how many of us did not live and simply vanish? Look, look at this place, mm. the immensity of the place. It's a universe. And when you think of the numbers, a million, a million and a half people, just think country that or a city that has a million and a half inhabitants and simply vanishes. And so I think of that. I come here and try to see the invisible and try to hear the inaudible. And I always see what I had seen the last time I was here. Do you think that the ground speak, it carries its own energy here? It has the voices of the dead, do you think? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced of that, that they, some, some voices are still here. Mm -hmm. I think the souls are here, I think that they listen, they cry, they warn. Look, this is the largest cemetery in recorded history. And what do you see? Nothing. Nothing. But uh, the cemetery is in our heart. Yes, it's huge. It's huge, I am, huge. I'm, I, I, am, I am stunned at the vastness of it. It's huge. It's it was meant to be huge in order to receive so many millions of people. Yeah. I remember the first impression I had when I came. It was at night, midnight, and it was with all the lights on, projectors, dogs, shepherds, German shepherds, assess with machine guns, but it's the vastness of it. The vastness of the whole place. Yes. And we, we didn't know. That's the main thing. We had no idea what Auschwitz was. We never heard the word Auschwitz. Mm. Nobody knew what it meant. Mm.